Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about starting CGM and experiencing hair fall. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. All right, so first of all, let us understand the main causes of hair fall. The first cause of hair fall is from hormonal balances, from disorders like PCOS and thyroid disorder. The second cause could be nutritional deficiencies. The third cause could be stress or illness. The fourth cause could be crash dieting. Fifth cause, hereditary genetics and the sixth cause is smoking. Now, if you're experiencing hair fall, then it is always better to switch to a milder shampoo that does not contain sulfates, silicones, parabens, alcohols, etc. Secondly, it is very, very important to contact your derm, speak to them that you're having extraordinary hair fall, get some tests done so that you can rule out all of the causes that I spoke about. Your dermatologist is best equipped because he or she is professionally trained to handle these issues. But if you're concerned that the products that you use when you start CG is causing you hair fall, then I've spoken about this in video after video. A clogged scalp is one of the causes of hair fall. Now, if you're using conditioner to co-wash your hair, Please make sure that you're rinsing that conditioner off your hair thoroughly and nothing is left on your roots, nothing is left on your scalp so that it does not clog your scalp. Remember that a conditioner is formulated with heavy oils and butters and this can build up on your scalp, it can clog your pores and therefore it can cause you hair fall. So it is not your conditioner, it is not your CG product. That is the problem it is the way in which you're using it that could potentially be the problem now if your hair mask says that it is okay to apply to the scalp then please by all means do apply it to the scalp because ultimately scalp is skin scalp needs to be moisturized especially in winter but when you're rinsing that mask off make sure that you rinse thoroughly so that no traces of the conditioner are left behind on your scalp because you do not want it clogging the skin on your scalp and causing you hair fall now if you're using a regular conditioner as a leave-in conditioner and as we know that regular conditioners are formulated to be much heavier than leave-in conditioners make sure that that conditioner is not applied on your scalp it is not applied to your root take that conditioner focus it from the mid length to the ends whatever you have left on your hands can go to the top sections but make sure you stay one and a half inch away from your scalp so that none of that conditioner could potentially get onto your scalp and clog your skin. Additionally, a simple Google search will tell you that we have more than a million hair follicles on our body and a hundred thousand hair follicles are present on the human scalp. It is also common knowledge that the average person will lose anywhere between 50 to 150 strands of hair a day. This is normal. Now, when you've started CGM and you're creating curl clumps, then what you're doing with that gel is you are sealing those curl clumps. These curl clumps are going nowhere. If you are somebody who knows what hair fall looks like and if it is normal for you to see hair on the floor, especially if you have marble or tiles on your floor and you are somebody who has experienced hair fall or you've been particular to check for the amount of hair fall that you had before you started CGM, you would know that it's very normal to find hair around the place, in your drains, on your floors, on your bed, on your pillowcase. But now that you've started CGM, you will notice that throughout the week, you do not lose any hair or even if you do, it is very little compared to the amount of hair that you lost before you started CGM. 
This is because we are using so much gel on our hair that most of the hair that has already fallen from the scalp is stuck in your curl clump and during the week it has nowhere to go. Now, when you detangle your hair in the shower once a week, then those 50 to 150 strands of hair that you lose every day is trapped in your curl clump. And when you go to detangle your hair, wet in the shower remember always you are going to see so much hair fall out because that is your quota from the entire week that has been stuck to the curl clump and it has had nowhere to go now this is only true if you are super gentle when you're detangling and if you're being super careful not to cause hair breakage which means when you're detangling be super super gentle if you feel that it is a nightmare to detangle then make sure that you have enough water in your hair when you're wet detangling make sure that you have enough conditioner on your hair when you're detangling if you still feel like you have problems let the conditioner sit on your hair for a little while so maybe two three minutes wait for it to nicely soften your hair and then slowly slowly start from the bottom you are not wrenching you are not pulling you are not tugging a lot of the times you'll notice that even detangling brushes are causing hair breakage so for me i would say the exo curl comb is a really nice tool to detangle with because it is very 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 gentle on my hair and it doesn't cause hair breakage now look if I go in like a maniac and start wrenching at my hair, then for sure I am going to cause hair breakage. But remember, that time that you spend in the shower detangling your hair, you should not be breaking your hair. You should be super gentle and you should be super patient. Remember that your hair is asking for one day in the week to be taken care of. You are not doing anything else to your hair if you're a good girl and you're not the kind of girl who refreshes all the time because remember refreshing all the time is going to cause you hygral fatigue. There is no way to repair hygral fatigue. The only way that you can take care of it is by chopping your hair off. So what is hygral fatigue? The process of your hair getting wet and getting dry it causes hygral fatigue damage, so make sure you're not doing it all the time, even if you're refreshing. If it is very, very important that you have to refresh, make sure that you're not doing it every single week. Guys, I do not refresh my hair. Today, I'm coming to you with no refreshing, okay? All I did was I fluffed. I fluffed like a maniac and here I am. This is my hair. I have done absolutely nothing to it. I cannot obsess with my frizz. I cannot expect my hair to look perfect all the time. So during the week, what do I do? I just fluff and then I just put it into a scrunchie and I let it be. Especially since I have damaged my hair so much in the last 10 years, I do not believe in refreshing. If I do it, I do it very, very little. If it is a corrective measure, then I do it. Otherwise, I don't do it unless I have something very important. So let's say if I have a party to go to or I have a gig where my hair really does have to look nice, then I do it. A lot of the times I don't. I just fluff and I get on stage. Or worse comes to worse, I put on some beads, feel fancy and get on stage. So essentially if you're a good girl okay and you're following cg then your hair is asking you for so little it is asking you for two hours in the entire week you're not doing anything else to your hair so when you're spending those two hours taking care of your hair make sure that you are detangling with patience Make sure that that conditioner is on your hair for a little bit, one or two minutes. Be super gentle, use a comb. I would wholeheartedly recommend the EXO Curl Comb. I really like that comb to detangle. It has changed my life. I've said this so many times, the Just Herbs Kumuda Conditioner with the EXO Curl Comb is my holy grail. I cannot do without it. I absolutely love it. It makes the entire process so easy. I would recommend it to you guys. 
especially if you're detangling. That conditioner is quite light. It is a lightweight product. So if you have low porosity hair, you would prefer to use it as a leave-in if you're using regular conditioner as a leave-in. But yeah, when I detangle, that is my go-to conditioner. I absolutely love it. So getting back to the point, be super duper gentle, okay? You started CGM, your hair is not asking for much. It is asking for the bare minimum. If you're the kind of person who straightened your hair every single day in the past before starting CGM, then listen, you spent so much more time straightening your hair during the week. This is two hours of TLC that your hair is asking for. So please be kind to your hair, be gentle, be delicate, take your time detangle with care and don't cause hair breakage apart from that remember okay i'm repeating this because i want this to really really sink in the average person loses from between 50 to 150 strands of hair in a day you are not touching your hair you're not combing your hair throughout the rest of the week so all of the hair that has already shed on your head will be stuck and trapped in the curl clump and will not have anywhere to go. When you detangle once a week, it is going to come out. So when you look at all of that hair that you've lost in the shower while you've detangled, if you are 100% sure that you have not been rough and you haven't caused it yourself, then whatever that hairball looks like is completely normal. I have shown you my hairballs. I mean, that's so gross, but I've done it, okay? So please take my word for it. You are not losing hair after starting CG. Things appear to be such, but sometimes things are not what they appear to be. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, hopefully this video allayed your fears a little bit because I get this question a lot and I just want to normalize this. I just want you guys to understand that this is normal. It's fine if you're experiencing hair loss. Hey, listen, it is normal if it is extraordinary and it is a lot of hair that you're consistently losing and it freaks you out then please go to an endocrinologist, get some tests done, go to a dermatologist, rule out all of the issues like hereditary, PCOS, thyroid, all of this. Take care of all of that and you should be good. Just because you've started CGM doesn't mean you're losing hair. All right, hopefully this video has answered some of your questions and have allayed your fears a little bit about hair fall and CGM. Hopefully you gained some value from this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna see more from me, you can follow me on Instagram. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michelle and I will see you in the next one. Bye.